Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. I am too pumped to sit down for this one. This is insane. Finally here, I've been waiting for over a year for this one. Can't wait to fish it. The Akuma Makaira spinning reel has arrived in the 10,000 model. So it's been pre-existing previously in the 20,000, the 30,000 size, and that has claimed some monstrous sharks, big GTs, epic tuna, whole stack of giant species from the salt water. This reel is the toughest, most durable spinning reel in the world. That's the words we use. It's also the words that reviewers use. So what I wanna do is I wanna give you just a few specs on this reel. I wanna unbox it so we can have a look at it. And I also wanna give you a few words from an independent reviewer that has a lot of cred and has reviewed this reel. So the Makaira spin. So the 10,000 size is new. He has had the 20,000 size and reviewed it previously. So here we go. 10,000, check out our catalogue, so make sure you go online, tacklecomau because there is a load of specs on this reel. There's lots and lots of info on there. But just as an example, forged aluminium machine cut, body, side plate, and rotor. So not cast, it's not a cast reel. The body of this reel is forged aluminium machine cut. So brutally strong. Internally, forged stainless steel main gear, for power and strength, forged stainless steel. Again, not, not an alloy, not a, not a cast material, not a bronze, it's a stainless steel and it's forged. Precision machine cut 17.4 grade stainless steel pinion gear, oversized 17.4 stainless steel spool shaft to reduce flex. So forged body, stainless steel guts. Hydro sealed body. The body of this reel is fully sealed and so is the drag. It's a dual force drag. The drag is sealed and dual force means it's applying pressure from to both sides of the spool. So it's a carbonite drag and it's designed so that it applies pressure to all of that carbon drag right to the edges to those discs. And it allows 25 kilos of drag on this 10,000 size reel. 30 kilos of drag on the 20,000 and the 30,000. So epic drag, epic durability. This thing is insane. Uh, nine high performance bearings plus one roller bearing, corrosion resistant stainless steel bearings, a whole bunch of other stuff and also a unique drag system. So let's rip it out of the box, have a bit of a look. The box is flash enough for me. Inside we've got our shims and our warranty information and booklet and bits and pieces, spool strap to hold our line, bag for our reel, that's pretty nice. We've got reel oil in here, our handle, so right or left-handed reel. So as the theory goes with these larger reels, you don't want a reel handle that can swap from side to side because it does reduce the strength, the integrity of the reel. So right or left-handed. Our handle has a little protective plug on here that I've got to get off. And so does our body of our reel. We All right, our handle on our reel. We'll screw that in nice and solid. There you go, that feels beautifully balanced. 4.9 to 1. 25 kilos of drag on that reel. Dual anti-reverse set up inside there as well in case you have an anti-reverse issue. A dual there for peace of mind. Big, solid, that forged, machined body. Brutal looking reel and the drag system on this reel. So when we're adjusting our drag on this reel, it's like the dr drag set up on a lever drag overhead. So we wind this back to zero. And once we set it at, we're at zero, we can set our center tensioner there. And then we can adjust our drag and see if we're happy with that. Oh, that is brutal. So what that allows us to do is to say set like a strike drag, like you would on a, a lever drag overhead. So we might set it so that we're happy with, put it on the scales and at 10, we're happy with that as a strike drag. So there we go, we know we put it at 10 and we're at our strike drag. We then turn it up to 11, we know where we're at, we test it, we turn it up to 12, we know where we're at, we test it. And it allows us to easily go, okay, I'm at 10, my max drag pressure sunset for me is 15 and that's as, as far as I wanna go. So it allows us to adjust that drag and know where we're at during the fight. So there we go, that is a brutal piece of kit. Fully sealed, 
dual force drag, powerful piece of kit. But you don't have to take my words for it. I'm going to read you a few words from Alan Hawke. So Alan Hawke has basically pulled apart every spinning reel out there, as far as I know, pulled them apart and reviewed them, broken them right down. The review on the Makaira by Alan Hawke is a multi, 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 multi page review with loads of images, goes through the breakdown of this reel. But here's a few words for him on his 20,000 that he pulled apart and reviewed. I have no doubt that this is now the most powerful drive train to ever be in a spinning reel. The drive gear is unmatched, a pinion or two out there may equal, but as a combination of two gears, no other drive train comes close to this Akuma in sheer strength and toughness. So there you go, brutally strong internal. But also the body was impressive for Alan. So the body is a highlight of this reel. Instead of being cast or machined, they place a piece of heated aluminium in a die, then a hydraulic piston would press or forge it into shape, into the shape of the body, which would then be machined to remove excess metal and create threads. That doesn't make it a purely forged part since some of the surface grain and flow will be interrupted during machining, but the core of the metal maintains all the superior attributes of a forged part. The part that houses the clutch and pinion is an integral part of the frame. It's not bolted, screwed down or attached in any way that would create a potential weak link. The body, the body, the guts, the drag, this reel is brutal. A couple of other bits worth noting. Uh, just like that, they did not say one of the toughest or one of the most durable, rather said unreservedly that it's the toughest and most durable bar none. Bold claims like these rarely carry any merit, but this is one of those rare cases where they actually do carry merit. Toughness, question mark. I'm convinced that they indeed, they indeed built the strongest spinning reel on earth. Makaira spinning reel. From the indestructible handle to the forged chassis to the powerful mechanism, I don't believe any other reel is as strong as the Makaira. If you're heavy salt water, the toughest reel on earth. Most durable, meaning longevity, question mark. Another mission accomplished in my book with first class bearings, quality stainless steel gearing with a forged component, accurately fit parts, a clutch whose longevity is well established and the entire oscillation system being machined. I can't think of any other reel that's more durable. Not only does metallurgy state this, but real life testing and comparative observations show this as well. I can speak of that comparativeness with a bit of confidence since my pool of observations has been formed by decades of fishing and examining almost every variation generation of mainstream spinning reel you can think of. You got me, I am done. After touching this reel, playing with this reel, seeing what the Makiras have caught and reading Alan's review, buckle up, I'm on the team. So if you wanna learn more about this awesome, brutally strong saltwater spinning reel, then go to tacklecomtactics.com.au, akuma.com.au and check it out, Akuma Makaira spinning reel, the toughest reel on earth. Fish on.